educator Emily here. This month on social media, our theme focuses around ecological interactions of various kinds. Everything in the natural world is connected. From the phytoplanktons in the oceans to the ospreys in the air, everything influences everything else in this really entangled, complicated web of connectivity. What we often don't realize though, is that we, as living organisms ourselves, are ecosystems. So today we're talking about just that, the awesome interconnected ecosystem of the human body. First and foremost, an ecosystem is a community of living things. Ecosystems can be rainforests full of jaguars, sloths, orchids, vines, trees, rivers, oceans full of sharks, phytoplankton, dolphins, zooplankton, and tuna, or your body full of thousands of various microorganisms. While this may seem initially gross, the idea that you are not inherently just you, but instead the home for all these teeny tiny single-celled microbial organisms, I get it can be kind of gross, I do, but all of this teeny Tiny little microbes are crucial to what allows us to survive. Bacteria in your mouth and on your skin fight against pathogens before they can get deeper inside of your body and infect other tissues. Colonies of microscopic organisms in your gut are not only important for the development of healthy gut tissue as a baby, but they also help you to digest your food. The super neat thing is that we weren't always like this. We weren't always a body crawling with thousands and thousands of bacteria, we were at one point almost essentially sterile, and that was right when we were born. As a baby, the microbes colonize you from the environments in which you are subject to. This can be everything from who holds you, who talks to you, to the milk that you receive from your mother. All of those are ways for bacteria to colonize your body. Because we are essentially born sterile and every single one of us is born into a different environment, our microbial biomes are essentially unique. There is no other person on earth that has the exact same microbial community and makeup as you do. You have your own unique microbial footprint. Your ecosystem exists nowhere else on earth, but on you. And every time that you interact with someone, whether that's talking to them, shaking hands, giving them a hug, or merely sharing the same space with them, you are exchanging microbes. You are adding to each other's diverse microbial communities. How wild. We are what help keep each other's ecosystems so unique. Now, while each one of us has to be colonized by microbes upon our birth, the whole human microbe interaction thing isn't anything new. Single celled organisms such as microbes have been on earth for about three and a half billion years. These guys have been around for a long time. While us humans, homo sapiens, we've only been on earth for about 200,000 years, but the genus Homo, which includes our human ancestors, has been around for about 2 million. During our evolution as a human species, microbes have evolved with us. And this co-evolution is so tightly interconnected that there are some species of microbes that cannot survive without us, and there are some species of microbes that without them, we would not be healthy. Just like we have to care for the ecosystems we see outside of our body, like oceans, wetlands, rainforests, and savannas, we also have to care for the ecosystems that are our body. We are home to millions of little microbes that rely on us for life and survival, which is pretty cool. So next time you have to do a little bit of self-care, care for all those little microbe babies all over your body too. If you don't already follow Zoo Montana on social media or subscribe to our YouTube channel, why don't you go ahead and do that now? You can go ahead and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram uh, using the handles that you see on the screen here. Again, I am Educator Emily, and thank you for watching and appreciate all your little microbe babies. Bye, guys.